Hi sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sweetheart, kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much and I am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all showing me here with. I am grateful and you all are super sweet. I mean, this video is going to be a wake up call to everyone, not just to parents because see, it goes beyond being parents when you have siblings and you or you have nephew nieces and all that and knowing where you live and the people you have around you know that they can wake up and switch on you anytime any day and you really have to be careful with yours i mean a child went out with his friend palm colored kids to swim to the lake and he actually had a life jacket on they went to swim like normal kids and guess what his friends started putting rock on him and calling him russia slurs and call, they also called him uh, george floyd and told him that this is i mean this is gonna be your last day the young boy was screaming I can't breathe because they already put in rocks on him. He was drowning. And he, while he was screaming, I think somebody heard him and actually came to his rest. That was how they rescued this young man. And now the young boy, had, okay, the one that did it, can, can you imagine how evil a 14 year old child is? Okay, he has been indicted, but they are hiding his name. But eventually, another news. Uh, channel posted his name and please i want you all to really be very careful especially with your kids out there i mean if you are not gonna be around there if you are not gonna, gonna be close to them why going out with their pop colored people ask questions and please do not let them go i'm gonna roll this clip we'll come back to talk about it let me know what you all think in the comments so shut up let's get into it know having these race conversations with our children is difficult but we have got to have these conversations to not have these conversations it's setting them up to be in situations like this a remote area, a popular summer hotspot for those looking to cool off. But now, disturbing details just released about an incident that occurred here back in July. Court paperwork saying this started when the victim, who is black, told police he was invited to swim at this pond on July 19th. He added after he got here, the victim telling his friends, who are white, he didn't know how to swim, so he put on a life jacket. Investigators adding the suspect started throwing rocks at him, calling him a racial slur, and threatened to beat him up. The suspect, according to the police report, later repeatedly dunking the victim in the pond and swam underneath him to try and pull him underwater. The victim adding he couldn't breathe and another teen, quote, started laughing and called me George Floyd, obviously making fun of me and showing no remorse. It all eventually ended when the victim yelled for help and someone here on the beach swam out and stopped it. The 14-year-old suspect was in court late last week and has stated he is being charged as a youthful offender, which means even though he is a juvenile, his court proceedings are public and he could potentially be facing an adult sentence. Those at Goose Pond this afternoon in disbelief. Anything is possible in today's world that we live in. Yeah. Uh, but kind of hard to believe for him. If this kid is the bad egg that he, they say he is, could they have him off the street? Why is it hard to believe that it could happen there? This can happen anywhere with any group of kids or adults where the black person is the lone person in the group and all of the others are white people. It can happen anywhere and at any time. And this is why black people need to have these conversations with their children i know it's a difficult conversation but you got to have it if you don't you're setting them up 
to be in situations like that poor kid there. The 14-year-old was indicted on charges of attempted murder and assault with a dangerous weapon. Why has he not been charged with a hate crime? And what about the friends that were there watching and laughing as it happened? And oh, his family couldn't be reached for comment. What's also interesting about this article is that even though the authorities have released the team's name, NBC News, who's reporting on this story, is not going to name the team. Why is that, NBC? Why are you choosing to not inform the public of a dangerous, indicted criminal? Why aren't you letting us know his name? when the authorities have made all of this information public. We know why, right, black people? This is how they protect their own. They can have kids who do heinous-ish like this, but they will take the steps necessary to not ruin the rest of their lives. Meanwhile, they have mug shots of our kids plastered all over news media. His name, if, if he rode his bicycle on Miss Lucille's grass five years ago, they going to have that in their report too. But that's okay. Another news outlet reported what his name is. John Sheeran, 14. And he has been indicted. Black people, when you're having these conversations about race with your children, you also need to make sure they understand that if their friends invite him over for a sleepover and there's no other black kids in the group, yeah, they might not want to be a participant in that sleepover. If there's a party going on and they are the only black kid at the party, yeah, they may not want to go to that party. If they're going to the park, down to the lake, and he's the only black kid there with them, yeah, turn around and go back home. Well, hey there, y'all. So in today's Swimming While Black News... Quick heads up to my viewers, this video does contain themes of racial bullying and attempted on aliving by drowning. For this story, y'all, we're going to head up to Chatham, Massachusetts, which is located right there in the red. This incident occurred on July 19th at Goose Pond, located in Chatham. Because these are children, there are no names and pictures to go along with this story. In order to make it a bit more understandable, I will refer to them as White Boy 1, White Boy 2, and Black Boy. These kids were all around 13, 14 years old in that area. So on July 19th, Black Boy is at Goose Pond, and he meets White Boy 1 and White Boy 2. Black boy tells them, listen, I can't swim. And reportedly, someone gave him a life jacket so that black boy could swim with his new friends. According to the district attorney's press release, white boy one proceeded to pull on the victim's life jacket and submerged him underwater four to five times, causing black boy breathing distress. The white boy number two laughed at the victim during the attempted drowning and referred to him as George Floyd. White boy one, who we know is 14, continued to swim beneath black boy, attempting to seize his feet and submerge him again. The prosecution asserts that the bullying stopped when black boy cried out for help from the shoreline, which prompted a bystander to leap into the water, rescue him, and bring him to shore. White Boy 1 was indicted by a grand jury on attempted murder and assault with a deadly weapon charge. 
White Boy 1 attended a hearing on Thursday, August 31st in Barnstable Juvenile Court, and a judge ordered that he be held without bail. His next appearance in court is set for September 13th. At this point, I'm not sure why the child was not charged with a hate crime. I'm not sure what the state and federal statutes of that entail. Um, anyone else who knows it better than I do, you're welcome to add it into the comments. Now, white folks, I need you to listen to me. Shit like this is why many black folks do not allow their children to come to your homes or go places with you and your families unattended. They have no reason and every expectation that the health and safety of their children is not to be trusted in our care. White boy one and white boy two learned this behavior at home. They learned to be racist little fucks from their racist fucking parents. In fact, I'm not sure why the parents of white boy number one aren't also in jail. And I swear to God, if anybody comes into my comments and says boys will be boys or they were just kids, they didn't know what they were doing, I will block the fuck out of you. I have three children. My third one is now 14. That child is smarter than I ever was even in my 20s. This isn't just learned behavior. It's also approved. Otherwise, they would not have felt so bold as to attempt to unalive this black child in the middle of a public pond with other people around. I'll do my best to try to bring a follow-up once he has his court case on September 13th. So, this is the topic for the day. I can't breathe. Black child held underwater and caught racial slur by white team police say a 14-year-old. So, this is what the 14-year-olds is out here doing the other 14-year-olds. Now, I'm a grown man. You get what I'm saying? So, that's the generation under me. You get what I'm saying? Or the era under me. You get what I'm saying? I said all that to say is, y'all say racism is dead. It's clearly not. It's clearly still going. It's still being taught. Because they call, why they holding them under the water? Dunking this, dunking this young black man who can't say he couldn't breathe. They call him, you know what they calling him? They calling him George Floyd. You feel me? I don't find this funny at all, man. And people really got to watch their kids, get a hold of your kids on either side, man. Either side. Because what's crazy is, he going to go behind that wall. And the the Aryan Brotherhood is going to praise this young man. His stats going to go up. That's crazy, man. This is crazy, bro. Remember when I say, be careful who you hang around or be careful who you call your friend. Not every friend that's in your circle is not in your corner. Well, up in uh, Chatham, Massachusetts, there was a 14-year-old white boy who was indicted Thursday on charges of attempted unaliving and assault. What did he do? He tried to drown a black youth in a pond on Cape Cod. Now, we're just now hearing about this, but this happened back in July, July the 19th at Goose Pond in Chatham, when the 14-year-old, he met at the pond with the, uh, the victim, a young black male, as well as another juvenile. Now, after meeting the 14-year-old, the young white male, he picked up a stone and he threatened the black youth referring to him as a racial slur and before entering the water the young black juvenile he put on a life vest and he told the others that he couldn't swim and once in the water the 14 year old pulled on the life jacket trying to submerge the the young black youth four or five times and causing him to experience uh breathing distress now the other juvenile that was there all he did was sit back and he was laughing at him he was laughing at him the, the whole time during this attempted drowning. What makes it worse? They were calling him George Floyd. George Floyd. Then the 14 year old, he swam under the, the black juvenile and he tried to grab his feet in an attempt to try to pull him under the water. Luckily, there were some bystanders and when he cried out, he cried for help and a bystander on the beach ran and helped this young boy out. Now, the 14-year-old was indicted on charges of attempted unliving and assault. Now, after the hearing on Thursday, uh, the juvenile court judge said 
that the 14-year-old was ordered held without bail and is due back in court on September the 13th. They also said that this 14-year-old is known to the courts. He's known to the courts. They're also trying to try and do, uh, uh, take this to trial to have him as an adult. None of his information is private. It is public information. Even though the names have not been released yet, but they're, they're charging him to where his information is public. So a picture will be coming soon. Patting the suspect, started throwing rocks at him, calling him a racial slur, and threatened to beat him up. To be more specific, at one point, the teen allegedly grabbed a bigger stone, threatened the victim with it, and called him boy and the n-word. I can only imagine where he learned this type of language. Hmm. The suspect, according to the police report, later repeatedly dunking the victim in the pond and swam underneath him to try and pull him underwater. The victim adding he couldn't breathe and another teen, quote, started laughing and called me George Floyd. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Whichever kid said this, if they said it to my kid, or alternatively, if the kid who said this was my child, woo, they would catch all of these hands. Obviously making fun of me and showing no remorse. It all eventually ended when the victim yelled for help and someone here on the beach swam out and stopped him. The 14-year-old suspect was in court late last week and has stated he is being charged as a youthful offender, which means even though he is a juvenile, his court proceedings are public and he could potentially be facing an adult sentence. As he should, absolutely. This kid needs to be sentenced harshly. They could have taken this boy's life and I think they tried to. Had adults not stepped in, who knows what would have happened? According to the man who saved this boy's life, he said that he saw the teen and the other person he was with taking turns dunking the kid underwater, and that he, quote, was sneering and had a grin on his face. I'd have to imagine that whoever this 14-year-old boy was doing this with will also face charges, but I can't find anything about it. But in the end, y'all, as harsh as this might sound, this 14-year-old needs to receive a harsh sentence. He knew exactly what he was doing. Clearly, it was racially motivated, and had nobody stepped in, he probably would have taken his life. I'm glad this kid is alive. I really hope he's okay moving forward, and hopefully the justice system does its job, which, as we all know, it is a hit or miss. I know, I just didn't see a story about a white male trying to drown a 14-year-old black male and calling him George Floyd and kids throwing rocks at him. I, I ain't just see that, did I? Check this out. I don't like it. Now, disturbing details just released about an incident that occurred here back in July. Court paperwork saying this started when the victim, who is black, told police he was invited to swim at this pond on July 19th. He added, after he got here, the victim telling his friends, who are white, he didn't know how to swim, so he put on a life jacket. Investigators adding the suspect started throwing rocks at him, calling him a racial slur, and threatened to beat him up. The suspect, according to the police report, later repeatedly dunking the victim in the pond and swam underneath him to try and pull him underwater. The victim adding he couldn't breathe and another teen, quote, started laughing and called me George Floyd obviously making fun of me and showing no remorse. It all eventually ended when the victim yelled for help and someone here on the beach swam out and stopped it. The 14-year-old suspect was in court late last week and has stated he is being charged as a youthful offender, which means even though he is a juvenile, his court proceedings are public and he could potentially be facing an adult sentence. Those at Goose Pond this afternoon in disbelief. Anything is possible in today's world that we live in. Yeah, um, but kind of hard to believe for him. If this kid is the bad egg that he, they say he is, could they have him off the street? Oh, TikTok, I wish y'all would let me say some of this crazy shit just on my mind. Won't just give me a pass on one video. Just let me talk crazy. This is ridiculous. Shout out to that person that saved that boy. Because... Man, I don't even, I can't say nothing. Because everything I want to say, they won't let me say it. This is horrible, y'all. Spread this around, let's spread awareness and make sure they get justice. Hey, y'all hear about this? A white teen is being charged after allegedly attempting to drown a black teen and calling him a racial slur. 
Now, before we get into this, let me remind you that the following is being posted for educational purposes with the intent to spread awareness and should not be used to segregate or divide, nor as a tool for harassment or bullying. Yes, you heard me correctly. A white teen allegedly tried to drown a black child, what is now being called a racially charged attack. In a remote area, a popular summer hotspot for those looking to cool off. But now, disturbing details just released about an incident that occurred here back in July. Court paperwork saying this started when the victim, who is black, told police he was invited to swim at this pond on July 19th. He added, after he got here, the victim telling his friends, who are white, he didn't know how to swim, so he put on a life jacket. Investigators adding the suspect started throwing rocks at him, calling him a racial slur, and threatened to beat him up. The suspect, according to the police report, later repeatedly dunking the victim in the pond and swam underneath him to try and pull him underwater. The victim adding he couldn't breathe and another teen, quote, started laughing and called me George Floyd, obviously making fun of me and showing no remorse. It all eventually ended when the victim yelled for help and someone here on the beach swam out and stopped it. Wow. I want to know what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments. Till next time, I ask that you take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And as always, I'm sending peace to you. So this is all I got from this video and I don't even know what it's running through my mind and I don't know some parents are I don't know should I say reckless yeah you had me right because there are some places I would never let my child go with a palm colored yes you had me right I'm not gonna lie to you because there has been so many stories are some people not listening to the news some people don't see what it's going on I mean, there are so many kids who actually went out, black kids, with their white friends and they did not come back home anymore. I mean, there are so many of them. I have actually brought them here, Rachid, Qadar, so many of them to this very moment. And someone actually have got the heart to let his son go out to the lake even when he doesn't know how to swim. Actually, he, he was smart enough to use the light jacket, right? Tell me how evil a 14-year-old child is. That child really has gone very far and wide. I am not going to lie to you. 14 years. And for him to know George, uh, George Floyd, that tells a whole lot. I mean, his motive was so racial, like, very horrible motive. And his plan was to end it all. Had it been that somebody did not come out to rescue that boy, that should be the end of him. And he was screaming and telling them, I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. Still, can you imagine using heavy rock, putting heavy rocks on him just to like, you know, drown him. And you all remember what happened. There was also a recent story I, I, uh, I brought here about a young probably 17 or 18 years he went out with his friend to the lake also i think they also drowned him i mean the story i mean this kind of story is not i don't think it is new i have been saying it very often and i think it is time parents stop if you are not going to be around there if you are not going to be there please do not let them go if you do not even know the family very well, do not let him go, please. You are not being mean to the child. You are not being, it is just for his safety and your own safety. So you don't start crying in the end. Really, when I heard that, I was like, I don't think I was surprised, but I felt really sad because that poor child had to go through all this. I mean, it is time parents also start educating your, their kids. On some certain things you all I mean talk to them tell them the truth and please be careful out there especially with your kids because your kids are I mean they are your extension I don't know if anything happens to you to your child I mean you definitely will be affected seriously so knowing that fact protect them with all you can please this is where I am going to draw the cut and see you all in my next video. Bye for now.